a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Puerto Rico Puerto Rico, officially the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico and briefly called Puerto Rico, is an unincorporated territory of the United States located in the Northeast Caribbean Sea, an archipelago among the Great Trantilles. Puerto Rico includes the main island of Puerto Rico and a number of smaller ones, such as Mona, Culebra, and Vieguas. The capital and most popular city is San Juan. Its official languages are Spanish and English, though Spanish predominates. The island's population is approximately 3.4 million. Puerto Rico's history, tropical climate, natural scenery, traditional cuisine, and tax incentives make it a destination for travelers from around the world. Originally populated by the indigenous Taino people, the island was claimed in 1493 by Christopher Columbus for Spain during his second voyage. Later it endured invasion attempts from the French, Dutch, and British. Four centuries of Spanish colonial government influenced the island's cultural landscapes with waves of African slaves, Canarian, and Andalusian settlers. In the Spanish Empire, Puerto Rico played a secondary, but strategic role when compared to wealthier colonies like Peru and the mainland parts of New Spain. Spain's distant administrative control continued up to the end of the 19th century helping to produce a distinctive Creole Hispanic culture and language that combined elements from the Native Americans, Africans, and Iberians. In 1898, following the Spanish-American War, the United States acquired Puerto Rico under the terms of the Treaty of Paris. The treaty took effect on April 11, 1899. Puerto Ricans are by law natural-born citizens of the United States, and may move freely between the island and the mainland. As it is not a state, Puerto Rico does not have a vote in the United States Congress, which governs the territory with full jurisdiction under the Puerto Rico Federal Relations Act of 1950. However, Puerto Rico does have one non-voting member of the House called a resident commissioner. As a U.S. territory, American citizens residing in Puerto Rico are disenfranchised at the national level and do not vote for president and vice president of the United States, and do not pay federal income tax on Puerto Rican income. Like other territories and the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico does not have U.S. Senators. Congress approved a local constitution in 1952, allowing U.S. citizens on the territory to elect a governor. A 2012 referendum showed a majority disagreed with the present form of territorial status. A second question asking about a new model had full statehood the preferred option among those who voted for a change of status. Although a significant number of people did not answer the second question of the referendum, another fifth referendum was held on June 11, 2017, with statehood and independence slash free association initially as the only available choices at the recommendation of the Department of Justice. An option for the current territorial status was added. The referendum showed an overwhelming support for statehood, with 97.18% voting for it. Although the voter turnout had a historically low figure of only 22.99% of the registered voters casting their ballots. In early 2017, the Puerto Rican government debt crisis posed serious problems for the government. The outstanding bond debt had climbed to $70 billion at a time, with 12.4% unemployment. The debt had been increasing during a decade-long recession. This was the second major financial crisis to affect the island after the Great Depression when the U.S. government, in 1935, provided relief efforts through the Puerto Rico Reconstruction Administration. On May 3, 2017, Puerto Rico's Financial Oversight Board in the U.S. District Court for Puerto Rico filed the debt restructuring petition which was made under Title III of PROMESA. By early August 2017, the debt was $72 billion with a 45% poverty rate. In late September 2017, the Category 5 Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico causing devastating damage. The island's electrical grid was largely destroyed, with repairs expected to take months to complete, provoking the largest power outage in American history. Recovery efforts were somewhat slow in the first few months, and over 200,000 residents had moved to Florida alone by late November 2017. Etymology Puerto Rico means, rich port, in Spanish. 
Puerto Ricans often call the island a derivation of its indigenous Taino name, which means land of the valiant lord. The terms and derive from and respectively, and are commonly used to identify someone of Puerto Rican heritage. The island is also popularly known in Spanish as, meaning, the island of enchantment. Columbus named the island, in honor of Saint John the Baptist, while the capital city was named. Eventually traders and other maritime visitors came to refer to the entire island as Puerto Rico, while San Juan became the name used for the main trading slash shipping port and the capital city. The island's name was changed to Puerto Rico by the United States after the Treaty of Paris of 1898. The anglicized name was used by the U.S. government and private enterprises. The name was changed back to Puerto Rico by a joint resolution in Congress introduced by Felix Cordova de Villa in 1931. The official name of the entity in Spanish is, while its official English name is Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. Pre-Columbian Era The ancient history of the archipelago which is now Puerto Rico is not well known. Unlike other indigenous cultures in the New World which left behind abundant archaeological and physical evidence of their societies, scant artifacts and evidence remain of the Puerto Rico's indigenous population. Scarce archaeological findings and early Spanish accounts from the colonial era constitute all that is known about them. The first comprehensive book on the history of Puerto Rico was written by Fray Inigo Abadí de in 1786, nearly three centuries after the first Spaniards landed on the island. The first known settlers were the Autoroid people, an archaic period culture of Amerindian hunters and fishermen who migrated from the South American mainland. Some scholars suggest their settlement dates back about 4,000 years. An archaeological dig in 1990 on the island of Vieques found the remains of a man, designated as the Puerto Ferro Man, which was dated to around 2000 BC. The Autoroid were displaced by the Saladoid, a culture from the same region that arrived on the island between 430 and 250 BC. The Igneri tribe migrated to Puerto Rico between 120 and 400 AD from the region of the Orinoco River in northern South America. The Archaico and Igneri coexisted on the island between the 4th and 10th centuries. Between the 7th and 11th centuries, the Taino culture developed on the island. By approximately 1000 AD, it had become dominant. At the time of Columbus' arrival, an estimated 30,000 to 60,000 Taino Amerindians, led by the Cacique Aguibana, inhabited the island. They called it Boracan, meaning, the great land of the valiant and noble lord. The natives lived in small villages, each led by a Cacique. They subsisted by hunting and fishing, done generally by men, as well as by the women's gathering and processing of indigenous cassava root and fruit. This lasted until Columbus arrived in 1493. Conquest and Early Settlement When Columbus arrived in Puerto Rico during his second voyage on November 19, 1493, the island was inhabited by the Taino. They called it Boracan. Columbus named the island San Juan Bautista, in honor of Saint John the Baptist. Having reported the findings of his first travel, Columbus brought with him this time a letter from King Ferdinand empowered by a papal bull that authorized any course of action necessary for the expansion of the Spanish Empire and the Christian faith. Juan Ponce de Leon, a lieutenant under Columbus, founded the first Spanish settlement, Capera, on August 8, 1508. He later served as the first governor of the island. Eventually, traders and other maritime visitors came to refer to the entire island as Puerto Rico, and San Juan became the name of the main trading slash shipping port. At the beginning of the 16th century, the Spanish people began to colonize the island. Despite the laws of Burgos of 1512 and other decrees, for the protection of the indigenous population, some Taino Indians were forced into an encomienda system of forced labor in the early years of colonization. The population suffered extremely high fatalities from epidemics of European infectious diseases. Colonization, the Habsburgs. In 1520, King Charles I of Spain issued a royal decree collectively emancipating the remaining Taino population. By that time, the Taino people were few in number. Enslaved Africans had already begun to be imported to compensate for the native labor loss. 
but their numbers were proportionate to the diminished commercial interests Spain soon began to demonstrate for the island colony. Other nearby islands, like Cuba, Saint Domingue, and Guadeloupe, attracted more of the slave trade than Puerto Rico, probably, because of greater agricultural interests in those islands, on which colonists had developed large sugar plantations and had the capital to invest in the Atlantic slave trade. From the beginning of the country, the colonial administration relied heavily on the industry of enslaved Africans and Creole blacks for public works and defenses, primarily in coastal ports and cities, where the tiny colonial population had hunkered down. With no significant industries or large-scale agricultural production as yet, enslaved and free communities lodged around the few littoral settlements, particularly around San Juan, also forming lasting Afro-Creole communities. Meanwhile, in the island's interior, there developed a mixed and independent peasantry that relied on a subsistence economy. This mostly unsupervised population supplied villages and settlements with foodstuffs and, in relative isolation, set the pattern for what later would be known as the Puerto Rican Hebrew culture. By the end of the 16th century, the Spanish Empire was diminishing and, in the face of increasing raids from European competitors, the colonial administration throughout the Americas fell into a bunker mentality. Imperial strategists and urban planners redesigned port settlements into military posts with the objective of protecting Spanish territorial claims and ensuring the safe passing of the King's silver laden Atlantic fleet to the Iberian Peninsula. San Juan served as an important port of call for ships driven across the Atlantic by its powerful trade winds. West Indies convoys linked Spain to the island sailing between Cadiz and the Spanish West Indies. The colony's seat of government was on the forested islet of San Juan and, for a time became one of the most heavily fortified settlements in the Spanish Caribbean earning the name of the Walled City. The islet is still dotted with the various forts and walls, such as La Fortezela, Castillo San Felipe del Moro, and Castillo San Cristobal designed to protect the population and the strategic port of San Juan from the raids of the Spanish-European competitors. In 1625, in the Battle of San Juan, the Dutch commander Boudewijn Hendricks testing the defense's limits like no one else before. Learning from Francis Drake's previous failures here, he circumvented the cannons of the castle of San Felipe del Moro, and quickly brought his 17 ships into the San Juan Bay. He then occupied the port and attacked the city while the population hurried for shelter behind the Moros moat and high battlements. Historians consider this event the worst attack on San Juan. Though the Dutch set the village on fire, they failed to conquer the Moro, and its batteries pounded their troops and ships until Hendricks deemed the cause lost. Hendricks's expedition eventually helped propel a fortification frenzy. Constructions of defenses for the San Cristobal Hill were soon ordered so as to prevent the landing of invaders out of reach of the Moros artillery. Urban planning responded to the needs of keeping the colony in Spanish hands. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?